اقرأ باسم ربك الذي خلق خلق الإنسان من علق اقرأ وربك الأكرم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome back again So Alhamdulillah We are slowly slowly learning more about sentences in Arabic so just to revise what we're doing so everybody is on board so we're doing Jumlat al Ismiya and we've learned so far in Jumlat al Ismiya we got Muptada and Khabar so what is Muptada? Muptada is the beginning of a sentence it is an Ism and we have learned there are two types there are about eight types of Muptada so far we have done about two types so what have we done Muptada which comes at the beginning of the sentence most of the time at the beginning of the sentence so we have learned demonstrative pronouns which are Hadha and Zalika so far and we know that proper nouns the name place animal thing adjective and when they come in front of the sentence that is a Muptada so we learn more about proper nouns so we did in our previous session how to make an indefinite noun into a definite noun. So we know that a word ending with double dhamma is an indefinite noun and how do we make it definite is by adding a definite article al and changing the double dhamma into a single dhamma you get a definite like al baitu, al qalamu, al kitabu, al masjidu. If we make some sentences, simple sentences like the pen is broken, the door is open, the boy is sitting, the teacher is standing, the book is new, the pen is old. So if you notice in all these sentences, when we talk, when you begin our sentence, we always use the, which means we use a definite article. So which means the muptada in Arabic, when we start, with the proper noun, that proper noun will always will be definite. That is what we are going to learn in this lesson. That the noun which comes as a muqtada, the beginning of a sentence, it will always will be definite. For example, al-qalamu maksurun, the pen is broken. Al-babu maftuhun, al-waladu jalisun, wal-mudarrisu waqifun. The teacher, the boy is standing, the teacher is, the boy is sitting and the teacher is standing. And Al-Kitabu Jadidun Wal-Qalamu Qadimun, the book is new and the pen is, if you see in all these sentences here, the Muptada begins with Al and what you notice here is a sign of Dhamma. It is not Fatha or Kasra, it is a sign of Dhamma. So what do we learn from here? most of the time the muptada is marfu if we just remind ourselves what is marfu is it is a sign of dhamma single dhamma or double dhamma so when you see these signs so you know it is a sign of marfu so the muptada has got two characteristics one that it is definite and then it is marfu so what are the other signs called you know when you have fatha and fat, double fatha tanween it's called mansub and majur is kasra so we know that muptada will have a single dhamma and it will be marfu so we did the demonstrative pronoun zalika and hadha but we don't see any dhamma here it's because these are pronouns these are they're not definite nouns these are pronouns and the pronouns will have their own symbols they don't change the symbols this is what we got to remember and we'll learn more inshallah we'll be learning more and more different types of pronouns if you just remember that the pronouns they don't change their signs but the proper nouns will change the signs but when we see a pronoun coming at the beginning of a sentence that is a muqtada and that is still marfu we call it as a marfu so muqtada what do we learn that it is definite and it is 
marfu. What about khabar? So we've been talking about Muqtada all the while, so we're missing khabar. So let's go to khabar today, inshallah. Khabar is giving some news about Muqtada. So if you see in all these sentences, Al Qalamu Maksurun. Maksurun is the khabar. Al Babu Maftuhun. Al Waladu Jalisun. Wal Mudarrisu Waqifun. If you notice something here, Al Kitabu Jadidun. Wal Qalamu Qadimun. What we have done so far, let me just tell you the khabar, there are five types of khabar. We are learning the first type of khabar which is the khabar coming as a single word that the khabar is just one word and when you see here when the khabar is one word we see that it is always ending with a double dhamma and we just did uh, in our previous session the sign of double dhamma is indefinite so what do we learn from this that the khabar when it is one word it is indefinite and it you can see the sign of double dhamma and muptada is always always definite and when it has al then it has got single dhamma so these are the things which we are learning in this session that and even when you, the muptada is a pronoun so we have learned so far two demonstrative pronouns zalika and hadha and the khabar which comes after that if you see here it is double dhamma so this is what we are going to learn zalika najmun hadha waladun so it is khabar is also marfu when it is single word let's do some practice inshallah with all this keeping all this in our mind okay so if you make a simple sentence if you say al qalamu maksurun the pen is broken so al qalamu is muqtada definite single dhamma maksurun indefinite double dhamma the door is open al babu maftuhun so this what to notice again that marfu Muptada and when the khabar is single word it is indefinite and it is marfu al waladu jalisun and that wal mudarrisu waqifun the boy is sitting and the teacher is standing let's do some more sentences inshallah to give you more practice so this is our take home lesson today that muptada at the beginning when it is a proper noun it will have al Dhamma is definite, khabar is indefinite. Al kitabu jadidun wal qalamu qadimun. You see, al himaru, al himaru, the donkey, sagirun, sagirun is means small. Wal hisanu kabirun, and the horse is big. Al kursiyu maksurun, the chair is broken, maksurun is broken. Al Mindilu Wasikun Wasikun means dirty. Al Mindilu Wasikun Al Ma'u Baridun The water is cold. Al Kamaru Kamar means moon. Al Kamaru Jamilun Beautiful. We say Al Baitu Karibun Wal Masjidu. If you see here, it's Hamzatul Wasal. So we've got to put all our knowledge here. That's why we pronounce it Wal Masjidu. Wal Masjidu Ba'idun and all we have and that's a Hurufu Qamar Al Hajaru Sakhilun Sakhilun means heavy Wal Waraku Khafifun Khafifun means light so we got to practice all these letters all this vocabulary and if you see in this lesson most of the things are coming as an opposites as well so you learn two things at a time Sakhilun Khafifun Sakhil is heavy Khafif is light harib is near baid means far so inshallah if you write and practice it will give you a very strong base al qamisu nadifun so let's put to practice what we have learned so far if you can put the vowel signs on these so if we know even if it's not written we know what to put here so it is coming as a muptada you got al, you know what to put here. We don't put fatha, we won't put khats, kasra, it will be 
dhamma and this one will be maksurun it's not maksuran it will be maksurun because khabar one single word will have two dhammas al maktabu maksurun al mudarrisu jadidun al qamisu wasikhun al labanu baridun inshallah we will be sending this as a homework try and write and practice and make your base strong and we'll take one step at a time and uh, inshallah we'll be stronger assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh